21 verse 29. 29. Isaac 20 verse 29. Chapter 20 verse 29. Isaac 20 verse 29. Ufunde aganje. Utu mwolo abasha lunga manza abo. Nesifunulo sabatala. Singu bumpunga. Verse 29. Luke chapter 16, verse 20, verse 8. Luke chapter 16, verse 18. Eight. Eight. Verse 8. Verse 8. The master commanded the dishonest manager for his shrewdness. For the sons of this world are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than the sons of the light. Oh, so we're great here. As stand us. Let us pray. Baba we to know the Isaac Jesus Christ whom sent us away to. Si abong exe nugu si vusa si pili le siguazu zo shanga ne nyawen zako. Gumum tanda zo we to nugu ti gulok shanga na futi. Uzivese pagati gwechu. Agusizi lutu kushanga na gwechu. Unga zivese wena. Uyabona intizo yetu kutigulambele. Igomele. Yebo singasho sikuluma njongo mshabelele uti ufana nenjuzela. Yesha nyuge zintabeni. Ifuna imtombo ya manzi. Age uvulege imbobo se sulu. Age uvulege mafastele 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 sulu. Age Oba unkulu unkulu busi sabong kabantu na ba kesi busi ngezula ke kamenga chesi ngosi tu amen. I don't have a long story to tell this morning. I see in zeka kulin zabaya milenga ikuluma namshekseni. But uh, when I read these scriptures and the others, God wage umangfunza lompa lo ganye na limuni. There's something that I discovered. I know we have been reading this verse, uh, 20, chapter 20, verse 29 in Proverbs. Yes, I know we have been reading Proverbs. Now and again we read it. Now and again we read it. But I wish this morning would grasp Sibambe. the wealth that is in this verse. The glory of the young is their strength. The gray hair of experience. The gray hair of experience is the splendor of the old. The strength, the power in youth. It is expected of old people to have experience experience which you cannot buy from anywhere as you go you learn a lot of things so their beauty their splendor is that wisdom that is expected from them when you see a grey old person 
You expect to learn a lot from him or her. It would be unfortunate that the seniors have nothing to deliver to the youth. Something they are sure of. They might have not been great people. People who have traveled or done a lot of things. But through the experience they've gone through, they can give a word of wisdom. That is why we are still fortunate in our church. We have both young and old. We praise God for this. Uh, in Luke chapter 16 verse 8. Jesus Jesus commended that uh, unjust steward. Because he had dealt cleverly in solving the, his problems. Now he says, For the sons of this world, sons of this world, are more shrewd in their generation than the sons of light. Should wise, they are wiser than. Oh, ah, ashagani pile stugulwa nensa ogune matwata na ukanya. You see that that statement. Leyongulumo. He made me think deeply. Ingende ngakabanga ngalogu chulile. That the sons of this world are wiser than the sons of light. In dealing with their own things, God has given us Young people in this movement. But seemingly we don't realize the power that is in them. We don't utilize the power as old people in them. There are things I cannot do now because of my age. I might desire to do them. But the strength in my body will not allow it. But we have young people here. We have young people here. And uh, I must tell you, they are very eager to, to do something in the name of the Lord. Unfortunately, uh, we lack captains. We lack captains. In the church. We lack commanders. We, are, we don't have commanders. People who have a vision. To apply their wisdom. To use young people for the glory of God. They are wiser than the children of light. 
let me speak about one example in the Bible, in the Old Testament, of a young man. Who rescued or removed the disgrace of his nation. The world, the country, his country and his nation was in trouble. The best of, of the country were unable to come with solutions. But this young man you, if you looked at him, you would uh, be taken up. But God used him. I have a feeling if we dream of taking this church to a higher level, than what, where we are. If you want to restore the glory that has left us. By the way, remember this movement was started by young people. Our fathers were young. When God came to them and gave them work to do, they did not become workers for God when they were old. Some people think you've got to be a, a big old man. So that you can be used of God. No. Senior people should be planning wars so that the young people can engage in them. Senior people should strategize and plan wars in which the young people should be engaged. The senior people should marshal the young people and set them in order in their early years. When the leaders of this world want to bring a revolution, they don't go to the old generals. Those who had done great things. Because they are complacent, comfortable where they are. They are holding their positions. It is for young people to rock, to rock the boat. Yes. It is for young people to shake the boat when everybody is resting musing about what happened some years back praising the past saying let the future let it be the past the leaders of the world 
when they want to change the regime uma bafunya kuguqula indlela labenta ngayo tintfo they go to the youth baya kubandvula basha they 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 befriend, befriend them uh, uh, with the youth baka buhlobo bungani nebantfu labasha because they know better than us ngobe bathi ngcono kunathi that power kuthemandla strength lemakhono energy Butala. to do things bekwenta tintfo lies in the young people bukubantfu labasha We, we, uh, as I said, we are fortunate to have young people in our church. It is by the grace of God that they stay here. Where their gifts and ministries are not utilized according. Oh, they are not used. They are not recognized in some quarters. When I was young I heard in senior ministers of this church. These old men said when he, he talked about us young people. I don't trust this. Pointing at us. I'd rather say stay with the Makokos and the Mkulus here. That annoyed me. And made me make sure that I prove a point. That young people are the key for now and the future. Even when I was, I was tempted, I remember that old man. These, I can't trust these. But God trust the young people read your bible god doesn't call old people into the ministry no, yeah, no he doesn't he knows them before they are born <laughs> and anoint them before they are born tell me young people are not important in the church. Let me cite a few examples of the world. Lenin. 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 That's the name of a person. Lenin. Oh, Lenin. Called Russian youth in 1905. When he was uh, planning, the, uh, plotting the communist takeover, he went to the youth. He said to his core uh, conspirators, Go to the youth. They may not know how to use the weapons. They are not trained for wars. But go to them and train them. This is what he said. Make the rounds of hundreds of workers and students study groups make go to hundreds of, of workers and students circles and supply each group 
and brief them with a simple recipe of how to make a bomb. I'm quoting him. Some may undertake to kill a spy or blow a police station. Blow a police station. Others raid a bank so that we can get money for the insurrection. Let every group learn if only by beating the policemen. That's how the Russian Revolution took place by Lenin. Adolf Hitler built his new Germany on a foundation of teenage teenage Nazis. We are only talking today of, of teenagers here. Yeah. We have not been able to uh, tap into the uh, uh, potential of teenagers. Capturing their hearts of these young people. He said, you must go and make programs. He called them strength through joy programs. Let me repeat that. I'm going to pin the logo. His programs were strength through joy programs. He called them joy programs. joy programs. And those joy programs changed the minds of young people. joy programs Fill them with patriotism. To fight for their country. Being led, being led be, be holwa, by Adolf Hitler. Be holwa, Adolf Hitler. China Red Guard. Eh, China Yapfunda Loco. China Red Guard eh, 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 group. Oh, eh, 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 in were mostly teenagers turned China upside down. Children of this world are wiser than the children of light. Fidel Castro, the old man, Fidel Castro in the was able to Seize the imagination of Cuban youth. And led them in a revolution. I'm just reminding you that we need to wake up and see the potential that we have in the church. After all, at present, the church is becoming younger and younger. The church is becoming younger and younger. If we don't do anything about that, they will take it astray. If they are not, the power, the energy that is in them is not harnessed. Let me come closer to what my, my, my brother Seta said yesterday afternoon. He talked about the, the changes that take, took place here in South Africa. Liberation in South Africa. 
came about when the youth took the stage. Many, many of them died with a conviction that the blood, the blood of, of freedom fighters will, will water the tree of freedom. That was put into their minds and hearts by their leaders. What are we planting in our young people? What are we telling them? Are we just seeing people who are troublesome?